Hello everyone, this is Mang Sang V from vlemon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Analytics Active Report tutorial video. And in this video, we will learn how to control the visibility for a list column. For this video, we are going to refer to this blog post. Blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. Before we start, let's check the demo report which we are going to create in this video. So let me switch back to my report. And this is the demo report which we are going to create in this video. So in this report, we have a checkbox group on the top. So this is our checkbox group. And then we have a list. Based on selection or based on this checkbox, we are able to see the columns from the list. Okay, so if I'm going to uncheck first name and if I'm going to check last name, then only I'm able to see last name. For the gender column, we are not controlling the visibility. We are controlling the visibility for this four column, full name, first name, last name, and date of birth. So let's see how to create this report. First step, we are going to start with a new report. Let me click on this plus icon and then I'm going to select report. Step number one, we need to create or we need to open our report and we need to select our data source. From templates, I'm going to select blank active report template and then I'm going to click on OK. To add a data source, we have two options. Either we can click on this plus or we can click on this select source button. Next, I want to select my source. It is available under tutorial, data modules, cartoon characters and let me click on open. So data source is added successfully. Step number two, add a checkbox group. So I'm going to click on this toolbox and then under toolbox, I'm going to expand active report. Under active report, we have checkbox group and data checkbox group. I'm going to select checkbox group because or I want to manually add checkbox. So that's why I'm going to select checkbox group. Before adding checkbox group, let me first create a table. So I'm going to select a table. If you are looking for complete tutorial series, you can check this URL. If you want to hire me for personal or group training, you can drop me a mail or you can contact me on this mobile number. Apart from this, if you want to prepare for your interviews, you can hire me. I'm going to conduct a private session with you and I'm going to ask introductory questions. And then finally, I'm going to share my views with you, the improvement areas and other key points to help to create your next interview. And I want to create a table with a single column and two rows. And let me quickly add headers, page header and footer. And let me add a header, cartoon characters. Let me click on OK. And let me align this in the center. Let me change the font size, maybe 22 point. Apply, OK. Now in this first row, we are going to add our checkbox group. So let me select checkbox group, drag and drop it here. Next step, we need to add a list. Step number three, add a list. So I'm going to select source and under source, I'm going to select full name, first name, last name, date of birth, gender. I'm going to select all these columns and I'm going to drag and drop it here. I want to create my list in the second row. So that's why ensure you're going to place all your selected columns on the appropriate place. Release mouse cursor. It is going to create a list for you. Our list is created successfully. Now, based on this list, I want to add the respective column inside our checkbox group. So let me first select this checkbox group and then we are going to click on this checkbox definition icon button. Click on this and in this checkbox definition dialog, we are going to start adding all the columns for which we need to control the visibility. Okay, so let me add full name and then we don't have any option to add additional option. So that's why I'm going to click on this one, new. I'm going to name it date of birth. Again, I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to select or I think gender is not required. So let's remove it. Okay, if you want to control the visibility for gender also, you are going to add gender. Apart from this, I want to add additional information. So I'm going to select on this new button. Okay. And I'm going to name it ID. Click on OK. And I'm going to provide a unique ID for each column names. So we are done with label and we are done with ID. Now it is not important to provide the exact column name. Okay. 
this full name first name all is for display purpose okay it is not going to impact the column visibility so let me quickly change the first name so this is first name fn let's click on ok to apply all these changes next step we need to create a variable so we can control the visibility we are going to use this variable to control the column visibility so let me again select the checkbox group and then i am to select interactive behavior in interactive behavior dialog we need to create a new variable so let me click on this pencil icon and then i'm going to click on this url create a new variable click on it in active report variable dialog i'm going to create a new variable normally i prefer to start my variable names with small v so i'm going to use the same practice v let me click on ok our new variable is created successfully next thing we need to control the value so for us we have two different types of value label and id in label we have our display name and id is a unique identifier for each columns so let me first select label and then let me click on ok we are almost done click on ok to close the interactive behavior next thing we need to control the visibility for each column for this i am going to click on this full name and then under properties i am going to select under interactive behavior section we have column visibility option click on this open it in this in column visibility dialog box we are going to select the third option visible based on condition then click on pencil icon to add a new condition okay so this is condition comparison dialog and below this we have another column visibility dialog okay so let me first provide a condition i want to control the full name so that's why i'm going to first provide the label value okay so right now we selected label so that's why we need to provide label value okay you can find the label value here full name provide exact label value so i'm going to type label full name our data type is string and i want to select in operator okay if full name is available in our correct variable name so for this demo we only have a single variable we show hide column if correct variable is not selected for you you need to first select the correct variable for me the correct variable is selected so we provided the value we provided the operators and then we selected the correct variable name next thing drop this condition if the variable is empty i am going to explain this later for the time being full name okay full name is your label name this label name full name the operator is in and we show hide columns if end user is going to select full name the full name label is going to available in we show hide condition so this condition is if this value is available inside this variable then it is going to return true so let me click on okay to save this first condition so our first condition is saved successfully okay if you want to combine or if you want to add more condition you can click on this plus button to add new condition for me i am done so let me click on okay we are done again click on okay to close this column visibility dialog our changes are saved i hope you are able to notice this our full name is grayed out let's run our report before running this report i want to save it so let me quickly save it next thing i'm going to click on this play button to run our active report report is executed successfully i'm able to see full name let me select some other value first name when i selected first name my full name is gone so why we are able to see full name when we did not selected anything for this let me again open our report so this is our report let me again select full name and then i am going to click on column visibility i want to edit the condition let me select this condition and let me again click on this pencil icon drop this condition if variable is empty on first execution we did not selected any value inside this checkbox group at that time this variable is empty so when you are going to check this checkbox and if variable is empty this condition is not going to be applied let's uncheck this 
Click on OK to apply the changes and rerun the report. Our report is executed successfully and this time I am not able to see full name. If I am going to click on this checkbox then only we are able to see the full name. Ok, apart from this we also have ID. So why we have ID or why we need to add additional ID column. For this let me first select first name and then I am to click on column visibility. Let's create a new condition for this column and then I'm going to type first name. Okay, this value is incorrect. Why? Because if I'm going to check this value, if I'm going to compare this with label first space name space open bracket capital F capital M and closing bracket. So if you are using a label, then there is a probability you can type something different here. So to avoid this, we added extra ID column. So instead of label, we can also use any additional column. Okay. So what is the benefit to use ID column? ID is if you are going to use ID column, it help us to avoid any typos in our code. So let's see how to use ID column. For this, I'm going to click on cancel, cancel, cancel. And then again, I'm going to select our checkbox group. Then I'm going to again click on checkbox definition. It is going to open checkbox definition dialog for us. And then this is one, two, three, four. So one for full name, two for first name, three for last name, four for date of birth. Let me click on cancel. Next thing I'm going to click on this interactive behavior. And then I'm going to click on this pencil button to edit the set variable values section. So I'm going to click on this one, edit. I'm going to select we show height columns. I'm going to click on this drop down and then I'm going to select ID. Set the variable values from ID column. So let me select this one and then click on OK. Now this variable is using ID. So let's first fix the full name. So we are going to select full name and then under column visibility, I'm going to edit the existing condition. Uh, we are using ID instead of label. So let me use one here. So provide the correct ID value here and then save your changes. Now whether you need to use this drop this condition if the variable is empty, it is up to you. I'm going to recommend it. Please select this checkbox. Why? Because first time if your variable is empty, then at least it is going to display all the columns. Again, this is something based on your client requirement. So let me click on OK to save these changes. Similarly, I'm going to select other columns and then I'm going to apply column visibility for the remaining column. So let me first select first name. We don't want to control the visibility for gender column. So we are going to ignore it. We are done with our show height and list column report. Let's run it one more time. Let's select some values, full name, last name, uncheck full name, first name. This is how you can control the visibility for a list column in active reports. I hope you enjoy this video. That's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next IBM Cognos active report tutorial video. Some important reasons.